All right. Obviously, it's really cold today. We just had a big snow for West Tennessee. That's really odd, especially getting toward the middle of March. So most of the light is still pretty clear. We do have some big patches of ice. So I'm going to try not to break my neck walking around this primetime Avenger 21 rear bunk. Gonna work our way around. Obviously front storage with the Avengers. They do like to point out certain things such as where their gaskets are is a full seat channel. You don't have exposed ply, other wood, even though the structure is standard construction. So wood studs every 16 inch center. Their corners do have hurricane straps and they kind of double up on the ends. So you'll have additional support at the bottom and the top and then the hurricane straps going down before they actually put that corner together. And that's on all four corners. This particular unit does have standard windows. So it does mean you can open it for ventilation. Lippert staple stairs, grab handle, full grab handle. A little shorty. So again, front time Avenger 21 RBS. Exterior speakers that are low, so you can actually hear them down. So Josh over at Fish's RV, if he ever watches it, watches this, he'll appreciate that because that's a big pet peeve of his. Dog leash connection, back bumper, spare tire, manual jacks. The frame on this is an I beam. Obviously, dual axle too. Let's get on inside. What everybody actually wants to know. Wind's still blowing. So right off the bat, sofa against the divider wall that leads into the bedroom. This one is a dinette, and their dinette is one if not the largest of any manufacturer. So if you make that down, you can sleep a full, almost six foot four person. Kitchen, they swapped out the counters. Instead of it being laminated now, they are molded. Kind of a drop base and stainless. Plenty of clearance. Rear burner stove top with oven. Microwave over top, nice little trim, and good deep overhead storage. They've gone with a lighter color scheme overall. So something to consider, it is very bright in here thankfully. Additional storage underneath. I'd almost say since you have access to take that out, take that out and use that for your waste bin. Drawers on catches, additional drawer at the bottom. Very big 12 volt ever chill. So electric only. With it going almost to the ceiling, they put a larger one in here too. Freezer on top, obviously. Very, again, very big. Plenty of storage. Controls for your TV mount. Where they're supposed to be, opposite the sofa. It's a Bluetooth for your radio. Leads directly to your TV. Technically, you can have additional sound. Bath. Is where I think this particular one shines. Anytime you have a rear bath, you use the full width. So you have a smaller lip step up, which means you have a taller shower. And your vent fan is right over the shower where most of your steam is made. So you don't have to worry about mold as much. You can get that moisture out of here. 
medicine cabinet, storage underneath. Your center vanity too, but this is where it shines. Anytime you have a rear bath, you have a ton of storage. Ton, ton, ton. Again, that's my hand. Eight to nine inches. So this thing is what? Two feet deep, three plus feet wide, double shelf. And they've tucked the vent pipes out of the way. Controls are in the bathroom to be able to check your storage tanks. We have a ducted AC because of that front bedroom. So you have individual outlets for air. And then our walk around queen. Now you will have to do a little bit of a shimmy on this one with a sliding door that can be definitely usable a lot of storage over top full wardrobes on the side that actually go to the very front corner let's get back out and go around to the other side one difference at least for uh, campers going forward is the door mechanism for the screen isn't a handle as it used to be so a lot of times even the ones I've had if you go to grab this handle and you miss and hit this one then your doors are coming apart so you have to be very specific about unlatching that which I actually appreciate so we've been on the campsite where we started let's move to the roadside double propane electric tone jack we do have some skirting at the bottom diamond plate there's our pass through storage again fresh water black flush big extra there your black flush furnace all your additional windows and your slide even with snow on it it's hard to tell here that slide does have a pitch that goes ever so slightly away so all that water will run away and not back into your camper rack and pinion it's ready for whatever weight you want to have it does not require additional stabilization and this unit does have an outdoor shower i did not point that out earlier the other thing they want to point out with these two, your slides, it's a double wiper. So you have one exterior, one interior. If you do have water, or in this case snow, building up on the exterior of this slide, it's going to, the first one's going to squeegee that water off, the second one's going to make your seal. They also drop in channels all the way around the seal from the top down. So any additional water that is running will be channeled away from the unit so even though it's aluminum skin wood construction they've tried to really think about those extra little things that are going to make a difference in the longevity of your unit membrane walkable roof same thing with the roof they don't really have a rating on it I don't suggest putting 10 people up there but you can walk it just fine it's a nice little unit anyone that has questions about it feel free to send me a direct message give us a call at ANL RV in Jackson Tennessee subscribe let me know what you think in the comments